So we're going to open these holes up to suit the 10 millimeter studs in the base of the stand. So it's only two millimeter sheets. You can use a drill bit, but it makes a bit of a mess of holes. So step drill is the alternative. Um, these aren't cheap. I think this was about $60. Um, it's a good one though, it's Bosch. So it should last me forever. But a uh, much better tool for smashing out holes in thin sheets. So hold. step drill is the go. Okay, so I can fit these studs here now that I've tapped out the holes. I was going to cut the heads off and just thread them in, but I don't think there's any point. I might as well just thread them up from the bottom and just bolt them up hard against the head of the bolt. I'm going to use a permanent thread locker here just because they're never supposed to come out. So uh, that'll save me, hopefully, having to put a jam nut on the top to hold the stud in place. So I can do this up tight from the bottom and apply some Loctite, well this is some other brand but it does the same job, and lock the studs in. So I'm gonna to have to go down to the store because the other ones I've got are about 10 millimeters shorter and they probably won't be quite long enough in that position there. So we'll put the 50 millimeter ones in here and next time I head down the hardware store, I'll pick up some longer ones for the other end, which will be this afternoon anyway. So let's get them going. Okay, it's 3.30 on a Saturday afternoon, which normally means it's time to do more thinking and some drinking. So I'm gonna have a beer while I figure out what I'm gonna do next. But the general idea was to have a tray in here that would collect any splashed coolant and then I could drain it back into my bucket down the bottom here. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this easily and relatively cheaply. So I've just bought some plumbing fittings. This is a 40 millimeter sink waste, or plug and waste they call it, for a sink. Now this is a common size for bathrooms and things like that here in Australia. So I was just lose the plug, I don't need that. But I could use this on my tray and some 40 millimeter plumbing fittings, and this is really cheap. You know, we're talking cents, maybe a dollar for some of these fittings. And that'll sit in the tray, and then I can drain this back into the bucket, which you can just see the corner of it in the screen there. So I don't, I can't put it in the middle, obviously, because there's not enough room with the tool cabinet here. So I've got to move it down to this end here where there's a cavity. So I've got to make a tray that's got a, quite an uneven fall or an uneven shape. Uh, falling to the lowest point where the collection point is. So I'm going to go have to look up how to develop some project projections so I can cut four pieces 
of aluminium out of my base and then probably weld or fold a couple and then weld a couple and make a collection pan here with the waste somewhere in this location here. So I know where the lathe is, it's sitting between these two posts, so I'm going to make my tray in between these two uh, bars. I've just got to figure out what shape these various triangles have to be so that I can have the waste sitting here. Maybe, I don't know, not much, just inch or two below the level of the lay. That be, should be plenty to collect the coolant and drain it back to the bucket for filtering and recycling. So let's see if we can figure out how to do it.